Hi, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Renters insurance is versatile. Whether you are renting an entire house, a small studio apartment, or sharing a place with roommates, renters insurance covers a host of problems such as stolen items, guest injuries, and even hotel bills if you cannot live in your place because of problem covered by the policy like a fire. Replacing everything could get expensive in a hurry and be a real burden, says Josh Laroche, a spokesperson for Toggle by Farmers Insurance. Getting renter's insurance is a fairly inexpensive way for you to manage that risk. Finding the best renter's insurance often takes research, figuring out how much coverage you need and getting quotes from multiple companies. Here are five steps to getting renter's insurance. Step number one, understand what is covered by renter's insurance. What is covered by renter's insurance can generally be broken down into three main coverage types. First, property, personal coverage. Think of all the stuff you have accumulated, furniture, clothes, kitchen items, jewelry, collectibles, and electronics. This coverage pays to repair or replace them if they are stolen or damaged by a problem covered by your policy like a fire or tornado. Many people underestimate how much stuff they own and dismiss renters' insurance. If you lost all your belongings in a disaster, would you be able to buy all new stuff? Second, liability insurance. This pays for injuries or property damage to others when you are legally responsible. For example, liability insurance pays for medical bills if a guest injures themselves in your apartment. Liability insurance also pays for legal defense in case you are sued because of an accident. Third, additional living expenses or ALLE, sometimes called loss of use. ALE covers expenses like hotel bills, restaurant meals, and service such as bed, boarding, or laundry if you cannot live in your home because of damage due to a problem covered by the policy. Step number two, their main coverage amount. The next step is to determine how much renter's insurance you need. The best way to start this is by creating a home inventory. You can use an app such as the National Association of Insurance Commissioners Home Inventory app that is available in the App Store or in the Google Play. Now that you have all of your stuff in handy list, tally up the total estimated value and you have a ballpark figure for how much personal property coverage you will need. A typical amount is $20,000 or $30,000, but you can buy more when needed. Step number three is research renters insurance companies. Figure out which companies offer renters insurance policy in your state. A good, a good place to start is your current car insurance company. You may benefit from a building discount when you buy both policies with the same insurance company. But also look beyond your current insurance companies and don't just focus on the big names with the humorous commercials. Check out the best renters insurance company which combine competitive price with good customer service. Step number four, compare renters insurance quotes. Once you get a list of renters insurance companies that you like, you want to get quotes. Remember to get quotes for the same coverage level from each renter's insurance company so you can do an apples to apples comparison. Do not forget to ask about the discount. The easiest way to shop for renter's insurance is to compare quotes from multiple insurance companies. You can get free quotes online or by calling an independent insurance again. Step number five, choose a company and apply. Once you have figured out your desired cover level and go check out quotes from multiple companies. 
You can choose the right renters insurance policy for you. If price is the most important, you will likely go with the company with the lowest quotes, or you may value special coverages and perks more than price and go with a company that may cost a bit more but better matches your needs. You can apply for renters insurance at most insurance company websites. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.